everyone, my name is Kristen and I have lost 83 pounds using the ketogenic lifestyle since July 21st, 2019. If you like what you see, could you please hit the like and subscribe button? That way I can get out into the YouTube universe. Also hit that bell. That way you'll get notified when I do upload videos. Today I'm going to give you the top five things that I am doing to stay on the keto diet during these stressful times. It's not easy and I know that not everybody wants to stay keto right now, but I personally need to stay keto. These are the things that are helping me greatly. Here you go, my top five things. The first thing I want to suggest that you do, that I do, is track everything. Absolutely every calorie, every macro, track it all. And I also plan. I plan everything I'm eating. I look in my fridge and I see what I have and I plan out the day. I haven't been doing this all the time, but during these and certain times when I don't know what I'm gonna have on board to eat, I am planning out my meals because I can't just go get something easily. And knowing that I'm gonna have something to eat helps me put into place the amount of calories I'm gonna eat for the day. So track and plan. That's my number one tip, is to track and plan everything you're eating. That's going to help you stay on track with keto and feel continue to feel good. My number two tip is put clothes on every day. And by clothes, I mean real clothes, like jeans that you finally just fit into or jeans that you wanna fit into. Get dressed every day so that you're not wearing sweatpants and you don't have a lot of give to your clothes. Because if you have a lot of give to your clothes, then you're gonna think everything's fine and that your weight is fine. When if you're eating 2,000 to 3,000 calories a day, for some of us, me particularly, that's not gonna fly. If I eat too many calories, I'm going to either stay, stay where I am in regards to weight or I'm gonna gain weight. So it's important for me to put on my clothes, especially the clothes that I just finally fit in to after 10 years. I don't wanna go back to where I was. So it's a good visual reminder if my baggy clothes start to get tight that I need to rein things in. So that's my number two tip. Make sure you get dressed every day, especially in jeans or something like that so that you have a visual reminder of what you need to do and that is stay keto. Number three is my number three tip is to watch YouTube videos and to listen to podcasts, especially the motivational ones. I watch some of them where we're talking about how stressed we are and we're not staying keto and that's okay. And that makes me feel okay about it gives me grace that I went off keto well I didn't actually I never went off keto let me clear that up I've never gone off keto I have stayed keto but I've been eating more calories on the day that I've kind of veered away and I and I didn't feel good I did not feel good so I I needed to rein it back in but yeah, my number three is watch motivational videos of other people that are doing keto while we're going through these stressful times. Those have really helped me retrain my brain and retrain my thoughts that, you know, yeah, things are tough, but we're gonna, things are gonna get better and then we're gonna be back to square one if we start eating carbs or we're gonna feel worse. That is keeping me motivated by looking at other people's videos and podcasts. And I'll give you a link to some of my favorite um, YouTubers and some of my favorite podcasts. They've been really helpful to watch. And I don't always agree with exactly how they do things, but it really helps me to see how other people are dealing with this. People like me who have had those hard days, but we pick ourselves up and we work through it and we stay keto. It's just so helpful to see that I'm not alone and that I have other people that are going through the same thing. My number four tip is to do a challenge, like an egg fast or a beef and butter fast. Do some sort of challenge 
if you've gone off of keto or you're having a hard time staying in ketosis, do a challenge. Like challenge yourself for three days. For three days, I have to do this. It helped me greatly to do the egg fast because it cut the cravings again. It restrict the calories. It was hard. It was hard to not eat my keto foods even, but it cut my cravings. It cut the desire to keep snacking. And I had a goal in mind. I said, okay, three days. I can do this. Three days. Just don't eat the even all the keto treats. And it reset my body so that now I can keep my calories lower again. Because what happens is the more I up my calories, the more I want more calories. So doing the egg challenge and making sure I keep my calories low helped me go back to keto, go back to square one where I was not having cravings every day. I'm not trying to go to food. Like I'm not obsessing about food like I was. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I, I was starting to obsess about food. And that's what happens when I'm not in ketosis is I start to obsess about food and I start to have cravings. And this egg fast just helped reset my mind and it helped my anxiety. So do some sort of challenge. You don't even have to, you can just do a calorie restricting. Like, okay, I'm going to keep my calories this much for three days or two, it took me about three days. So I'm gonna keep my calories like this much for three days and then stick to it. And it's hard, it's not easy. I'm not saying it's easy, but it has helped me go, get back into my groove and it it's worth it. Like I, I have lost 83 pounds. I do not want to gain that 83 pounds and I wanna lose, I wanna be down 100 pounds by summertime. So resetting my body and challenging myself really helped me get back into ketosis and retrain my brain so that I'm not craving all the food. So that's my number four tip, doing some sort of challenge for yourself. I know it's not easy, but we don't really have much else to do right now. So challenge yourself. So now I'm outside, you probably can hear the, the leaf blowers, but I'm watching my daughter on the move and, it, and I wanna kinda get my point across that um, the last thing that I've done to try and help myself stay on, in keto during these stressful times is get outside. And that's not easy in Maine because it's 38 degrees today, so it's pretty cold. No, I don't really like it. <laughs> but it getting out and getting vitamin D helps my mood. It helps my energy. And I think it's really helping me with the keto journey. So let's go outside. So I had to come back in the car. Oop, I think my, yeah, they're fogging. Um, so I had to come back in the car because it got too loud. But yeah, go outside and get some vitamin D. That has helped me greatly. I got to unfog my glasses. So yeah, go outside and get some vitamin D. It will help your anxiety. It will help you feel better. If you can go outside, do it. Just go outside it and try and move around and get your blood flowing. That has helped me. On the days that I can't get outside, I feel so much worse. But the days I get outside, it takes my mind off of things and I feel better. So my last advice is to get, get outside. So if you like what you see, could you please hit the like and subscribe button? That way I can get out into the YouTube universe. Also hit that bell. That way you'll get notified when I do upload videos. If you are keto and you are having a hard time, drop me a note and say, hey, this is really hard and we can chat. If you're not having a hard time and you're slaying keto during the stressful time, drop me a note and let me know what your tips are. Um, we all could use tips and tricks to stay keto during stressful times, especially when we're inside and don't have much to do. But yeah, um, leave me your tips and tricks and let's chat. I want to encourage everyone to stay keto. They say that it helps you with your immune system. I don't know the validity of that. I am not a doctor, so I can't speak to that, but... I do know that I feel so much better physically and mentally when I'm keto, so I'm staying the course. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day.
There's my child.